different. The city of, of Malden sponsors that nutrition center. Our nutrition center is not sponsored. We are a direct center through the area agency on aging. So our funding is it has to come differently than, than theirs. We would have to have fundraisers and um, just try for grants. I just hate to think that Malden can, can donate that much into a facility like that, and then we can't even give them a, a building that we were talking about tearing down. I talk to people in the ward and people in my uh, voting district, and they they're, they can't see a bat to it. Nobody's been able to tell me a bat. People must be nicer than mine. <laughs> they, uh, What's, what, what are their objections to it? Just that the, there's no guarantee at all that they would be able to renovate the building if it's as bad as we're here in the $100,000. See, they're going to pretty, much, they're just pretty much just going to cut it and make it one big room. So they're, they're cleaning it. Be, their clean expense wouldn't be 15 offices and all that like it is now. Because they would have to actually have to go in there and clean every wall and every floor. Well, no, well, well then why wouldn't we just gut it and start over with the inside? Yeah, I don't see if their cleanup's going to be a different than ours. Because we're, we're a, a government, a city entity. What it costs the city of Kenneth to do that is totally different than what it would cost them to do it. I can clean up something a lot cheaper than the city of Kenneth will ever get. Uh, just like if it does have asbestos since it's owned by the city, it's twice as much to clean, it's twice as much to tear down. Uh, if I owned it, it wouldn't be that expensive. It wouldn't well, be the twice. Well, what's the difference? Yeah, it's just what the people so that tear down asbestos do, you said. I don't know what it is. We're really talking about asbestos removal and all that, but it's privately owned or publicly owned. Well, the way to well, we already hauled off all the asbestos out of that building. Did that when I was property maintenance when it was moved in. Good. Yeah, I can site located at the, at the dump and up at Bloomfield. None of the map up there. <clears throat> so all, the, all the tile floor and everything in there was stripped out of that building. Packed it into triple wrap, three mil plastic. All it to Bloomfield and they uh, they sat located it up there on the dump. Mm. People that I talk to, a lot of people seem to think that it has asbestos and we've never <coughs> paid anybody to test it. But you said that you had it hauled off, I mean, before yeah. the, the police moved in it. When they moved, when they moved in, when the city white water gave to the police department, they had a lot of work and part of that had to do with the, the, the tile floors that were down at the time where the asbestos type and whatever and they were all. Take, they had to go through this elaborate procedure to take it out and keep it misted with water, wear the mask and all the clothes and all that cat to remove it. And then we had, to, like I say, a special wrap package it, and I escorted it to Bloomfield to make sure they got there and not somewhere else. So. Well, let me ask you this. If, say you were to spend whatever amount it is to clean it up, what is the plan then? You're going to have a building there and then we're going to leave the ACS empty or are we going to move or what's the plan then? It's still, even no matter what we do, it's going to cost $100,000 to clean it up plus having a rough time. That's what I'm saying. We're going I mean, to these people that told you $100,000, they came down and walked yes. through it? And yes. They, you they got they something got, in writing from them? They went to the police department, they went to the, all the, didn't they go to all the fire departments or just no, number just one? one. Yeah, I, can, yeah, I can have him email uh, the council or whoever, but yes, it was... He came 13, down with the house there, Chief was there. Nick, 13, uh, Bob, I think you were there. It was like 13000 for the, the 13000 for the fire station? Yeah, for the fire station. station. And 100000 for the yeah. you know, I, I didn't see any written cost or anything on the on the building over there that has a place, but he gave me a written right. guesstimate since we, it was more feasible to fix it. So, Chief, what's your opinion on that building? Do we need, uh, John, uh, uh, no. do, we, do we need to fix that? I mean, you, you've been around that mess. I mean, you can always get a second opinion. There's people out there, you know, you want to gauge it against the one that he got. It's the service group 360 out of Jonesboro, and that's who he lemon advises and recommend that because I guess there's not a lot of people in this area, period, that deal with mold. 
Yeah, that's where Elam and Nebraska said it's recommended. Did they see the report from that guy in Cape, the mold report? The, yes. Yes, they did. They did? And they, and they found a lot of the mold over there in the, underneath the ceiling tiles. So then they, they come in with their little lights and found the mold and measured everything. And, mm -hmm. Primarily in the bathroom by the front of the main area, the main lobby area. Well, I just, I don't know, I just don't see necessarily, I mean, I don't have a problem with letting them work toward getting it, but just to, are, are we talking about just signing it over to them right now? That's the council's decision. I mean, is, oh, is that what we're talking about? With them not having any money at all? And I mean, I don't think you can compare it with Malden. It's like, you know, she said, it's like two different things. I wish we could. Well, the council, here's a possible option, and Terry, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, you can enter an agreement with Ken Nutritional if they come up with the funding to take the building yeah, over. Within you know, um, a year or whatever. Whatever the agreement may be. Mm -hmm. But you come up with an agreement, if they have yeah. funds available, we'll offer the building to them. If that's what the council wants to do. Yeah. But their price can be different than ours. Somebody say that? Yeah. Their price can be different than ours to clean it up. So I don't know that a hundred thousand dollars would necessarily be the mark because they might get a different price. And they might, but they um, they don't have any money at all in their own. No, at, at, this, at this time we do not have the money. We have money for to do the kitchen, to, that, by the appliances and everything, we have money for that. Uh, that's in the general revenue budget. We uh, we don't have money to buy a building or we don't have money to renovate a building. We have a lot of people that have offered to help us do fundraisers and we have uh, several places that we can go to for to, to apply for grants. Sharon, would it, would it impact your grant application if they knew that you uh, had a letter of intent on, on behalf of the city of Kennett to the, uh, do what the building? Well, with the, with the grant, our problem is we are not sponsored. We are through Area Agency on Aging. The Area Agency has a budget that expands over several different entities. We're just part of it. We're like $450,000 for, for my budget. Okay. They... When, when we apply for that you know, grant through rural development, they came back and told us that we could not, um, we, they denied us because they had to use the budget from the area agency on aging. So we would have to go back and submit that to them and tell them that we have this, you know, that the city is willing to partially sponsor us, you know, at least for the building and probably you know, I'm, I'm thinking that they may. I'm not saying that they would because I don't know that. But that would be something that we could work with them. We, we've we spent over a year trying to get that. that well, and before, but before they approve any grant, you will have to have something from the city. I think a contract yes. or a letter of intent or some, something from the city that if the grant is approved uh, sufficiently that you will have that's the problem. They're not going to do it. Exactly. I, I can tell you they're not going to do it without that. And so is, is the area agency there okay with this plan? Yes. Do they know about the mold problem? Yes. We, area agency, has been down and we have put them down. Um, we've seen the mold. Um, we know that we're going to go in and all that's going to be taken care of. It's going to be taken out. Not just clean; it's going to be removed. And the, the leak problem and the roof problem, they know that we're expecting yeah. a new to maybe put in a new roof. Yeah. what I was thinking tonight that it would probably be a letter of intent. I did not expect you all to vote tonight to give us the building tonight because I do know that uh, there's items down there that would need to be stored there. The uh, fire department needs to store things there. So I know that the building is in use for right now. We're, we're asking for a letter of intent that says that maybe six months or a year from now, if we can 
come up with the funding to renovate the building, that the building would be ours. I don't see nothing wrong with that. I mean, the, the, the council's direction right now is to, the, you, you all purchased a new building to house the police station. So we already have a plan as far as where the police station will be in the future. Uh, spending 100000 or whatever it may be, putting any money into it at all right now, it's just kind of throwing money into a bucket that we're not really going to use. Um, if we can help the senior citizen population and bring them downtown, right across the street from the park, you know, I think it's a positive uh, for our city. Look at that, where are they going to park? <laughs> Well, there's parking across the street at uh, uh, Mitchell's, and of course the, the facility parking. I think you all might be discussing something with that lot behind the station. There's a grass lot back there. So I mean, that's that would be their concern, just put it bluntly. But but they've got it. They've got a plan for that. If if we so help them out with the building. I mean, is there any is there any part of this council that thinks we're ever gonna? Not move into the ACF building? No, I mean, got, we got, a, we'll move in there, but it won't be three years from now. You don't think we'll be in there in three years? No, I sure don't. But regardless, are we going to spend money on the building and, have it, and hopefully sell it for what we got in it, or are we going to move forward? That's the question. I'll make a motion for a letter of intent. Second. Letter of intent for what? Let's make the motion completely. Please. Okay. Uh, my motion is that uh, we provide them with a letter of intent that uh, once funding is procured for renovation of the facility, then uh, we will provide the building, donate the building to them. In what length of time? Okay. In what length of time? Do we need to? Is it motion on the floor? Is that a word? Do we need to maybe bring our thoughts on this letter to the next meeting instead of trying to do something off the top of our head here? Well, right now he's got the motion. Um, if there's a second, we'll have discussion and we can table it at that time. I don't have a right now with this with my motion. I do not have a time frame for this motion. Okay, I have. A, what time frame would you need? I think it's yeah. only a year. We need to have a time frame. We do need to have. Okay, sure. I'm going sure. to say. Open. I'm going to say a two-year time frame at this point. Within two years. Motion is. Okay. Everyone got the motion. The motion is to donate the building with uh, after funding has been approved within two years. They have and, and adequate funding for for the renovation. Within two just, years, you just get fifty thousand dollars. Okay, what what would adequate funding? I don't. We're know. considering two hundred thousand. Yeah, I don't know. I figure what it takes to put the building in service, right? I mean, that what you what your yes. the ten is? Yes. That be right. Okay. So. My my question is: during this time, the city would still continue carrying insurance on it and all that. We the city still has it. Still have possession. But you have two years to, to get your funding. Okay. If you got it earlier, I mean, obviously, yeah. somebody gave you ten thousand dollars. But up to two, up to two years. Did it then, right? You got still. You know, we need some time for storage and to move things. But like Ms. Hoffman was stating, if you get the funding six months from now, then bring it on. Bring it on. So when we come back, we'll get the paperwork. Does that sound good to you? Okay, uh, that's a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Okay, discussion now. All right, so then, then you can go ahead and write that letter of intent tomorrow. Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay. So we'll go. Not tomorrow. Yeah. So. <laughs> so you'll bring that letter to the next. You'll bring the letter to the next meeting, and we'll vote on it then. Is that? Is that? We can do it that way. Uh, yeah, I think that's probably the best thing to do. Just, make make sure yeah, you yeah, all are yeah. satisfied with the uh, with the wording. Yeah, but that gives that. you a chance also, since you know this is in progress, yeah, it gives you a chance to start working. Right. Yeah, so I, I really good. tried to keep it sort of low key because okay. you know I didn't I didn't want to say that you all had voted for it if you haven't. So 
Are, are you in contact with Grover Bell now? Not right now. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. You might want to get in contact with them to see what they will require. See what language they might yeah. require in the um, Since we are potentially donating this building, mm -hmm. could Boot Hill Re uh, Regional? Because there are some grants out right now, or it was about a few months ago, community centers, are, they're giving out money for community centers. That and fire stations? Nope. No more? Okay. Community centers. I think it's been on. They had that. Don't think they're going to build safer. Yeah. Don't think they're going to do Okay, so. We'll give you a million dollars. We'll come back next meeting with the letter 10th approved. Okay, so that's a. Uh, so. No vote tonight, though. No, there will be no vote. Oh. He's going to prepare that letter 10 and bring it back. We'll. We'll read over it and then you And if you get anything from Wilbur Bell or anybody as to what they require to get it, get it made to it. And we need your car. Contact for Boot Hill Reels, Boot Hill Regional. Steve Duke. He's there out of deck. You can probably contact the person tomorrow and she can the number. Okay. Here, I'll, 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 uh, I'll the I've got the number. 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 I've got Conversation today, and there's some things like when he not speak for him, but he had ordered cars with full size tires because you don't want to run a troll car on a donut tire if it has a flat. So, you know, he will, but you don't want to carry him around in the car because it takes up trunk space for your gear. So, there are some things there, there's probably a few records that need to be stored. But uh, I, don't, I, I personally really don't have anything that would go in here that I know of. There's some desks and stuff like that from us moving around that probably need to be relocated. What have you got down there, Jim? Still got the majority of our file cabinets. Um, there's still there's evidence property being stored down there right now because we've got no place else to store it. And so we, there's quite a bit of stuff still in that building. Uh, is it part getting covered part of our problem is that we don't. There's no place, we, have no, we can't bring that in, none of that stuff in this building, we just don't have a room. There's just not enough room to bring our files and stuff forward, so. Is the files that you use or files, old files? No, this, this is still files that we use. We still have files over there, police records that are still within the retention period, so we still have to maintain those files, but we have no place to put those over here. So that stuff still has to be in that building, so. There's just no way to bring that stuff. There's just not enough room over here. See that, or bring all that stuff over here, and then we don't have a place to put the officers. It's still in your room. Anything else? Being a jerk. 